I see Crystal from Flat Tire Farm is here. Give me one second. Just uh, getting a couple things set up here. Going to try to go streaming on uh, Instagram tonight. Okay, that's set up. And it looks like we're streaming live on Instagram also. Hey Loma, thank you for joining. I know this is your first time here. Let me move that over a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Matt1791 Garage is here. Big Family Expedition. How are you tonight? Thank you for joining. I, and thank you and Loma both for recently subscribing to my YouTube channel. It's very much appreciated. And I see that's about all we have here at the moment. I know a lot of people will be joining here shortly. So let's see here. Uh... Just a quick over, overview and introduction. My name is Bill, and this is my channel. It's called My Alaska. And in late 2021, I bought the property I'm currently on, and it was just a wooded lot. I moved on to it in June of 2022, and I'm working on building a homestead. I also have uh, 10 acres of remote property up in Petersville, Alaska. It's definitely remote it's not on the road system or anything i have to either use a snowmobile or a uh, like a four-wheeler or side by side to get out to it all the time so that's definitely not on the road system and it's totally off grid also i do have uh some batteries up there and some solar panels but that's uh that's it and then uh another quick uh uh announcement i am having a premiere tomorrow at 6 p.m. Alaska time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you guys can do the math and figure out where you are and what time it is. It's actually going to start one hour later than what we started right now. So let's see here. I see uh, Clint Gilcrest is here. Thank you for joining from East Texas. Uh, let's see here. People are saying hi to each other. John in Alaska is here. Thank you for uh, being here, John. Man, uh, John's getting a lot of snow up in Hatcher Pass. He lives in the same uh, community, but he's a long ways away from me, and he lives up on the mountain. So the mountains get a lot more snow than we get down here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you want, you can uh, just type in exclamation mark my ak or exclamation mark alaska and uh, Streamlabs will drop your links for everyone also you can type in the word weather then a space then your zip code and it'll uh, display what your current weather is right now it is overcast 35 degrees outside and it's had uh, small flurries all day long Uh, let's see here. Also, uh, please, if you would, hit that uh, thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And also, you please uh, leave comments on my videos. It does help the algorithm. And if you're so inclined, feel free to share my content on your social medias. Thank you, guys. Hey, Dusty Bottom Boys, how are you tonight? Just stopping in for a few minutes before bed. Okay, yep. I understand it is a uh, weeknight and people have to get up and go to work in the morning. I try to plan these out so bed and it's also not in the middle of the afternoon for the Pacific Coast people and myself. So it's about the sweetest spot I could find to go for, to fit for everyone, at least in North America. Unfortunately, people around the world, or some are sleeping right now, some are early morning, whatever. Hey, D's, uh, D Breaks, thank you for joining. Uh, reading down through the chat here real quick. People are saying hi. Crystal from Platte Tire Farms dropping some links for various people. 
Uh, hey, Frida Bellaflor, thank you for joining. Glad you could be here tonight. And John in Alaska says it is presently snowing hard here and 36 degrees. There's, yeah, at my place it is just overcast and no snow at the moment. But it had been a light, uh, real small flurries all day long. Maybe an inch of accumulation or so. Nothing to uh, write home about. And thank you, Loma. She says hit that like button. So thank you very much. Uh, Clint Gilchrist is uh, being funny. He's like, no snow here either, but he's in East Texas. So, yeah, type in uh, uh, weather then your zip code, and we'll see what the weather is around the uh, for all of you. And uh, D breaks says no snow at our over here in uh, BC, British Columbia. In a big family expedition, the weather for them is 54 degrees with a light wind. And uh, weather north, just north of Pittsburgh in Cranberry Township is 38 degrees. What kind of uh, fruit trees do you have there? And there's the world famous Ed from Mountain Mariner Off Grid Alaska. Thank you for joining, Ed. He doesn't live too far from me. In the greater scheme of things, I don't know, I'm guessing uh, uh, you can drive about 30 miles or 40 miles from here and then you gotta get on a helicopter and fly up to his place. He's, he lives on top of a mountain. So definitely uh, check out his channel also. Really cool channel. Hey, Dusty Bottom Boys. Wanda Hendry, how are you? Thank you for being here. And Mount Mariner says he's actually at work right now in Valdez, Alaska. And he says snowing in Valdez, but it's melting away. Lots of snow at my cabin, looks like, around uh, 10, 10 degrees so far up there. Or 10 inches up there so far. I guess I need my glasses on. Uh, D. Brake says they have three plum trees and two apple trees. Delicious. I'm hoping to be able to get... Uh, couple apple trees here maybe a plum or orange or lemon or something clint gilchrist question do you hunt and fish etc i'm fairly new to the channel yes i do hunt and actually my premiere that i'm having tomorrow i go ptarmigan hunting and ptarmigan is basically a wild cousin to the chicken it's a uh, kind of like a scrap a uh, uh, spruce grouse or something like that but it's also very similar to a chicken but a lot smaller uh spruce or uh, ptarmigan's only about this big at full grown body size so they're a lot smaller but uh there's a lot of them up here especially on the mountain sides up above the tree line or right at the tree line so i go ptarmigan hunting and uh, it's going to be a premiere tomorrow, and you'll just have to watch and find out. And I've done a little bit of fishing, not very much, but I do definitely plan on getting out and going, uh, doing a lot more fishing this year. Salmon in it. Excuse me, got a niche on my back. So I'm going to try to get out there and do some uh, dip netting in the Copper River, do some salmon fishing, and maybe some other uh, just uh, rainbow fishing or... Uh, pike, not pike. Uh, I'm totally drawing a blank on the fish we have around here mainly. Well, and some other fish. Uh, and I do go moose hunting. I've gone caribou hunting once. Unfortunately, the caribou hunting is a uh, you got to apply for a special tag, and it's by lottery system. And I did not get one this year. Also, I applied for a bison hunt, and I didn't get that either. It, when you apply for the bison hunt here in Alaska, it's almost a donation. Because they, they give out something like 100 bison tags, and there's like five or 10,000 people that apply for it. So it's almost impossible to get 
I've talked to some people that said they've been applying for it for like 30, 40 years and have never gotten one. So I figure I'll throw my name in the hat. It'll be a donation to uh, Alaska Fish and Game. Oh, my microphone is cutting in and out. Thanks, Ed. Uh, I hope that's better. Uh, let's see here. What else? Okay, Dusty Bottom boys, have a good night. Thanks for dropping in for a few minutes. I understand you got to go to work and stuff, so have a good night. Hey, Breaks Bake is here. How are you tonight? I think you're new to the channel, so feel free to ask any questions you have. Uh, I'll answer almost any question. Only uh, About the only questions I won't answer is like personal type questions, so feel free to ask anything about the channel. Uh, Ed is asking, have I applied for the 454 hunt? Off the top of my head, I can't remember which hunt 454 is. I know I've seen it, but I can't uh, remember specifically which hunt it is. I've applied for the caribou hunt in uh, 13, and it's actually totally shut down this year because of a large uh, die-off of caribou the last couple years. And then I've applied for the bison in Delta. The general bison hunt in Delta. And I'm going to have a cold snack. Wow, John says so far he's gotten three commercials. Should not be getting uh, commercials. I have it set up for uh, basically one thing of commercial. Getting a commercial at the same time. And... I do have it on my phone just so I can track it and make sure everything's okay. And I just had a commercial myself. And if I miss your question, uh, feel free to ask it again. Uh, um, like I said, I'll at least address your question. A uh, question if I may I may not want to answer it but I will at least address it so if I do miss your question feel free to ask again hey nanny goat acres how are you thanks for being here uh, nanny goat acres is asking how do you plan on unfortunately it was supposed to be a finished beam and I didn't realize it until after the fact we got it in upside down so i'm gonna have to uh trim it out in uh some nice finished boards and then i think i'm just gonna do tongue and groove on the ceiling and the walls downstairs so and the back wall there and the wall right behind you guys here i'm just gonna finish everything out in uh, tongue and groove i haven't decided if i'm gonna do that uh uh that japanese style where you burn the wo wood or I might do a whitewash, or I might just stain it. I haven't totally decided yet. Uh, Ed, Ed, Mountain Mariner, Off Grid, Alaska, saying uh, the 454 is the bison hunt in game unit 13 or in 11 and 13D. I believe that's the one I went for, the one that's right in a Delta Junction and not like out away from Delta Junction. So. I believe that's the one that's actually on the road system that you can just drive to and hunt. I know there's a couple other ones, but you have to more or less have to fly in to get to the areas. And I just don't have the resources for that. So, And uh, Streamlabs is reminding everyone you can type the weather in the zip code of your area and you get the weather forecast and also to hit the thumbs up. And the weather forecast for Valdez, where Ed the Mountain Mariner is, is 31 degrees right now. And the wind is blowing from the west at one mile an hour. And the weather for Wanda in uh, Milton Station is 36 degrees with an 18 mile an hour wind. And Ed, where he lives, is outside of Talkeetna up on the mountains. And the weather there is 33 degrees 
with a five mile an hour wind. Yeah, Matt 1791 Garage is pointing out that the burnt wood thing is called a Soshugi Bon, or I know I'm saying it incorrect, but it's called something like that. That's why I just said I'll do the burnt look. Okay, I'm just checking on something here. Yeah, I'm checking on something. Give me one moment. Okay. I got uh, uh, Mirror 81 joined on uh, Instagram. And John in Alaska says, Wish I could show you the snow coming down. It's crazy. Wow. And uh, Matt1791 Garage is asking... Still going, uh, still planning on getting into some livestock this spring, most definitely. Uh, as soon as this weather breaks, which is today's really supposed to be the last day of any type of uh, cold weather during the day, uh, excuse me, folks, and snowing, it's supposed to start uh, warming up, getting into the low and mid 40s every day. I have a rabbit hutch to build because I'm planning on getting a couple rabbits. And then I also need to work on a chicken coop. The chicken coop is just going to be a temporary coop. I do have plans on building a full barn where I can house pigs and chickens and things like that. So I do plan on getting some animals. And I highly doubt it will happen this year, but I would like to get some meat birds also and throw in the mix. Hey, Matt AK, how are you? He says, howdy friends, creatures, aliens, and Sasquatches. Yeah, uh, I don't know what it is. They're saying I'm cutting in and out. I, I haven't really changed anything from last crazy. I almost want to go out and just buy a specific setup for doing lives, but... I don't have the money for that. And uh, Mount Mariner says that John in Alaska, I'll have to post a, f a photo of the snow at my cat at my cabin on my channel. Lots of fresh powder. People are saying hi to Matt AK. And John in Alaska says he will post as well. And Matty Kays says he's in the middle of packing for his road trip to Texas. We had a couple people in here from Texas earlier. I don't know if they're still here or not, but they're, they both just happen to be in East Texas. <clears throat> oh, Nanny Goat Acres is in Northeast Texas. Uh, they say it is uh, 80 degrees and... Uh, uh, so far in northeast Texas, uh, pulling up green onions from the garden. Wow. We can't even do any gardening yet. It's still uh, covered in feet of snow out there. And Crystal from Flat Tire Farm says, Matt AK, Texas, you're going the wrong direction. Definitely. And Loma Gibson is here from East Texas. And Clint Gilchrist is here from East Texas. So, three people in here from Texas. And let's take a look outside. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, we still got a lot of snow out there. Those uh, green pipes over there, the sh two shorter ones, basically were buried in the snow. That's how deep the snow was. So, uh, we've lost probably half the snow we've gotten this year. So pretty nice out there. <laughs> uh, 
and then uh yeah i'm re definitely ready for it to warm up i got a lot going on this year Wanda Henry is asking, are you at the off-grid cabin build? No, um, actually in my permanent residence where I live day to day and it is on grid. I don't have a, a good enough cell service or internet service up at my off-grid cabin to do a live yet. So I've talked to the local utility company they're supposed to be getting fiber out in my area in the next uh, two or three years and when that happens i'm definitely going to hook up to the fiber and then that means i won't need the starlink so i'm going to take the starlink up to my remote cabin and use it up at my remote cabin and then i'll have excellent service at both places and i'll be able to do lives up at my remote cabin also matt ak only going as far as uh, Roulette, my aunt and uncle live there right on the lake, and there's going to be something like 60 people there. Wow. Big family reunion. Flat Tire Farm says, we staying in uh, Somerset in an old ostrich nursery for a while. Clint Gilchrist, I love the snow. From a distance, anyways. But I was built for the warmer climate. Yeah, I hear you. A lot of people are. Hey, follow Alaska. Thank you for being here. Yep. Follow Alaska. Daryl Lynn says, hello, Bill and everyone. My reminder was set, but I just got back from Glen Allen. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah, that reminds me. If you guys want to... Definitely catch my lives and be here uh, when I do start it. The best thing to do is just put it in your phone, in your calendar, as a reminder, and set it for like an hour ahead of time for the reminder to go off because the notifications in YouTube are really lagging. There were, uh, just recently, I had a couple uh, notifications set uh, within YouTube. And I got notified like the next day. It was like like 20 hours off from when it should have went off. So you can't rely on the YouTube notification, unfortunately. Hey, AK Dog Mom, how are you tonight? Uh, just uh, scrolling down through these. And uh, Crystal's... Posting another link for Follow Alaska's YouTube channel. And uh, Streamlabs just posted uh, to don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And that reminds me, I do have a second channel. It's called Digging Alaska. And it is for my uh, excavator work that I'm going to be doing this summer. I have a just a few videos up there. Only two videos that were... Well, three videos that were specifically made for Digging Alaska. There are other videos or just uh, work I did around here on this property that I uh, modified the video a little bit and threw it up on my Digging Alaska channel. Plus, there is a, a playlist called Raw Video on that channel, which I just upload a lot of the just the raw video, totally unedited, and I... Uh, if you just want to watch me uh, do some work in the excavator, definitely check out that uh, playlist. And Nanny Goat Acres, I would like to spend one year in Alaska, but yeah, like Clint uh, in Texas said, like Clint, uh, Texas is in my blood. Yeah, I hear you on that. Well, you need to come up uh, this summer or in the summertime. We have a Alaska YouTube meetup right, right up there. We're having the second annual uh, YouTube creators meetup at, on July 13th at Meadow Lake State Park, which is on the north side of Wasilla. So definitely uh, 
if you're interested, check it out. And uh, if you're up here in Alaska, let me know or let Crystal know, and we'll uh, put you down on the list. It, you can just show up, but we would like to know exactly how many people is coming so we can plan accordingly for there's going to be a couple meals, like an early lunch and an early dinner or something like that. Plus, we just want to have a, a estimated number of people so we can make sure we have enough beverages and... Uh, food and stuff for everyone. Matt, 1791 garage. Nope, nope, nope. I start to melt after 70 degrees. AK Dog Mom, we are good here trying to stay dry. Parts of Pittsburgh and local creeks are flooded from all the rain we've had. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. You guys got a lot of rain recently and all the streams and everything is flooding. And Clint Gilchrist at Nanny Goat Acre, same here. I would love to visit Alaska, but I couldn't live there. Well, before you say you couldn't live here, the winters are uh, very cold, but it's a different type of cold, just so you know. It's not uh, a humid cold. It's a very dry cold, so it doesn't feel ne nearly as cold as you would think it would. And there's uh, Streamlabs just posted the link for uh, John in Alaska's YouTube channel. Uh, we're reading down through these. A lot of people are just saying hi to each other. And Big Family Expedition, we were able to visit Alaska once, March 2013. Five days wasn't enough. That's exactly right. So you need to come back up sometime. And there's uh, uh, Mountain Mariner's link to his channel. Ah, man, I got an itch right in the center of my shoulder blades for some reason. Flat Tire Farms, we're going to sign off, friends. Bless you all, Reeve and Crystal. Okay, have a good night, uh, Crystal and Reeve. Thank you guys for joining when you could. Nanny Goat Acres, my windows are open. Nice breeze. I would love to spend a winter season in Alaska. My kids uh, just jumped on me. My kids would die if I was gone a year. Well, you got to bring your kids up with you. People are saying good night to Crystal and Reeve. And definitely check out their channel, Flat Tire Farms Homesteading Alaska, if you haven't. Yeah, Clint Gilchrist. It is totally different. Uh, I'm originally from Pennsylvania, and I go back to Pennsylvania often over like the Christmas, New Year time. And I am colder there when it's like 30 degrees, 25 degrees, then I am up here when it's like negative 10. I am colder in Pennsylvania. So it, it, it's because the humidity is so much higher and dampness. The dampness just gets to me also. And up here, even though there's water everywhere, it's very dry. Everything is very... In a lot of the United States, if you throw like a... A uh, log or something out in the woods and just leave it lay on the ground in a couple years it's just rotted away so bad that you can't even hardly pick it up up here in Alaska same situation it might be 5 or 10 years before it gets to the point where you can't pick it up anymore it's just that much of a difference it's so dry up here even though there's water everywhere it's just so, so much drier which is hard to explain but it is and don't forget to hit the thumbs up, everyone. Everyone saying goodbye to Flat Tire Farm still. And Loma Gibson says, I want to go to Alaska and see family. Yeah, if I remember correct, you said you had family in uh, Anchorage, if I'm not mistaken. Mount Mariner, uh, uh, Wally World, 
Walmart. You can uh, uh, pick buy the mattress in a box. As of a few years ago, anyways, maybe five years ago, four years ago, they had mattresses in a box at uh, Walmart in uh, Wasilla. Well, Nanny Goat Acres, what you guys need to do is come up with all your kids and grandkids and just rent a bunch of motorhomes, and then you can just go in a big caravan and just go and see Alaska. And the nice thing about it is... Uh, there's a lot of dump stations around that you can just pull in and dump uh, and fill up with water, stuff like that. In a lot of Alaska, you don't have to pay to camp overnight. There, A lot of the pull-offs alongside the highways and stuff, you can just pull off and camp for the night. You don't have to uh, specifically find uh, an RV park or anything like that. Yep, it, it's so bogus that Amazon won't uh, ship to uh, P.O. boxes. I noticed a lot of the times buying off Amazon, you can't have a P.O. box, but yet they'll send it by United States Postal Service, which makes absolutely no sense. So... Uh, Ed, I know what I always do is my address on uh, Amazon is my physical street address, and then it's uh, Suite 576, which is my P.O. box. And the local post office knows if they see, like, suite or apartment or something like that, that's the actual P.O. box. Big Family Expedition is asking, Follow Alaska, when is your next live? And Mount Mariner, A.K. at Matt, A.K. Purple, huh? I'll Google them. Yeah, Purple is a good brand. I don't know exactly what brand uh, Walmart has, but I know a few years back they had uh, mattresses in a box clear up to king size from uh, like a children's single up through uh, king size mattresses in a box. They had uh, the foam, and then they had, they actually had cheapo uh spring mattresses in a box so i would definitely go with the foam though but and follow alaska says not sure about going live again i actually need to talk to the hubs about that okay ed at mount Mariner says i went into walmart and they didn't have um wasilla store you should uh, look online and see if they have uh, free shipping to the store. If they do, uh, I can always pick it up for you. And uh, just hold on to it until you get back from uh, work. And Loma Gibson says, my cousins were in the Iditarod. Was that this year, Loma? And Matt... So, uh, Matt1791 Garage is saying that's great about your cousins running the Idata Rod. And I was just going to ask also, how was the race? Did they finish? Or uh, do you know anything about it? And Nanny Goat Acres, yep, vacation the last few years abroad. Now time for Alaska vacation again. Loma Gibson said it was they were the junior winner. Dad and daughter. That's cool. That's really cool. So they they were in the junior I did a rod race. <clears throat> oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, John in Alaska says at Ed. Uh, Ed at Mount Mariner, the mattress ranch on the Wasilla, in Wasilla on the Palmer Wasilla Highway, probably has uh, mattresses in a box. And Ed says he drives right past it when he's driving back from, uh, to 
Telkitna. Clint Gilchrist, question, do you get a lot of critters on your place? I get some. I've had uh, moose walking through my place uh, half dozen or so times this year. And, uh, oh man. And then uh, I have seen a fox out along my driveway a few times. And there's a lot of woods out by the road. So, and between here and the road is all wooded area. And there's a, I've seen a couple fox out in that area. So we do have a couple fox. And then uh, get lots of moose. Anything else is extremely rare. Uh, I guess about a, about a half dozen, dozen years ago, there was a black bear walking around in the neighborhood and, it's no longer alive because it got in a, one of the neighbor's boats. And it went to freezer camp. Okay, Wanda Henry. Uh, thank you. And uh, he, she says, hit the like button for Bill. And... Okay, Nanny Goat Acres, thanks for being here also. Hope to see you next week. I go live pretty much every single week at the same time on Thursdays. I'd say probably uh, seven out of eight weeks I go live. Every once in a while there's something will come up and I can't go live, but I do try to make it every week. So definitely... Uh, Set your alarms and hope to see you back here next week at the same time, same place. Mount Mariner Off Grid says, I need to stop at Arctic Ant Ammo anyways. Mattress Ranch is nearby. Follow Alaska says at Mount Mariner Off Grid Alaska. If you can't find one and need it shipped, uh, you can use our place. You pass right by us, headed home. Just an option. Hey, our Alaska, how are you? Thank you for being here. Uh, says hi everyone. Got stuck at work. Better late than never, huh? Though, how are you doing, Bill? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you for being here. Plenty of wet rain and snow in Homer today. I believe it. It's it's cold enough, it's snowing up here, but you're a lot farther south than we are, so I'm sure it's uh, raining down there. And Mount Mariner says that fellow Alaska, thanks, might be an option. Matt1791, ooh, I like that store, Ed. And D Brakes says, wow, fellow Alaska. Uh, that would be awesome. Big family expedition. Hey, Bill, I have to ask. That phone from your last video, have you ever tried to use it? I want to have to at least try it if, if it were me. Actually, it's just the phone booth. There's actually no phone in it, and I don't think there's ever been a phone in it. So it's just a phone booth that someone put out there and... I don't know if anyone really knows why it's out there or who put it out there. I'm sure it's just one of those uh, goofy things that uh, someone decided to put out. Probably had it laying around for 10 years in their garage or something. And was like, hey, I'll just go and stick it out in the middle of the woods for pe so people can talk about it. Loma Gibson, yes, it was a 2024 race. I think I sent you a picture of it. Speaking of the Iditarod, I believe. And Paul Alaska, D breaks. Uh, we all get creative getting stuff uh, here at times. Hey, raised in Alaska, how are you tonight? And. <laughs> Raised, raised in Alaska says, I thought it was uh, pretty f uh, fun to have a phone in the middle of nowhere. That is true. D 
he breaks is that follow Alaska. It's what I love. <laughs> Clint Gilchrist. That's funny. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, I need to uh, get busy as soon as this weather breaks. I need I got stuff to do here in the house. Got to get some uh, uh, permanent electric going. But I need to build a little closet wall first so I can put the breaker panel in it. Then I'll be set to uh, get the electric hooked up and get all the outlets working and stuff like that. Right now I'm just using the... He very heavy duty industrial uh, extension cords at the moment. Hey, Gillum Farms is here. Hey, how are you, Johnny? Thank you for being here. I raised in Alaska. I also like the water station, and that split split rock was very interesting. It'll be interesting to see it if it draws further apart over time. I thought about. Uh, Picking a spot on it and measuring it, and then every year going back and seeing if it moved further apart from the freezing and thawing or not. Matt 1791 Garage. Not if the Ranger has anything to say about it. Big Family Expedition. Yeah, that split rock was really neat also. Loma says, I have to go. Still not feeling well from my bad toothache. Excuse me. God bless everyone in prayers. Okay, Loma. Yeah, definitely we'll be uh, praying for your toothache to uh, get better. So take it easy and recover. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Mariner says, I'm going out there and cementing it back together. He's talking about the split rock. Yeah, you go out and fix it. Make it one again, huh? And there's a Gillum Farms uh, YouTube channel link. Streamlabs just posted it. So definitely check out his place. He's he's down in um, um, Oklahoma. God, I was drawing a blank. All I could think of was Montana, and I knew it wasn't Montana. Oklahoma. And uh, he has a, a small, like, personal cattle farm raising cattle and having a lot of fun. So definitely check out his channel. Yeah, Oklahoma. Fellow Alaska says, I think at John Alaska I had mentioned what that rock was called, but I have already forgotten. Yeah, I don't remember either. I think he was saying it was a type of rock, but not sure. Uh, I'm sure it's it was put there from the glaciers, but who knows? Too long ago for me. Matt, 1791 Garage. Ed, uh, spray foam would do that trick. Then just some uh, gray paint. Yeah, that would be it. John in Alaska says they are called glacier erratic. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, uh, as a reminder to everyone, I have a premiere tomorrow. It is uh, going to start at 6 p.m. Alaska time or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I go ptarmigan hunting, so definitely uh, if you want to see some snowmobiling, ptarmigan hunting, uh, definitely consider being there. And also, uh, I find some really cool tracks in the snow. You'll have to uh, check out these tracks. So definitely uh, the premiere will be right at 6 o'clock Alaska time or 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so Hope to see everyone there during the premiere. Mm. 
and follow Alaska says I'll have to ask 10 more times before I remember that so so will I and the weather for uh, Johnny Gillum at Gillum Farms in Tahlequah is 53 degrees and zero wind so that's pretty nice weather right there low 50s and no wind Ed and uh, Mount Mariner says Tarmigan closed on Febu February 15th. Then it, no, it actually goes to the last day of March. And that is uh, Unit 16 where I'm hunting in. So it goes to uh, last day in March. And D Brake says, Good night, everyone. Have a great night. Well, thank you for being here. Glad to see you again. And don't forget, I got a premiere tomorrow night. Raised in Alaska. Silly question. What's the difference between uh, Juris dropping a video and having a premiere? Or just dropping a video and having a premiere? Uh, when you have a premiere, you actually have the live chat on the side. So we can talk back and forth in the live chat. So that that's the difference. The video all start the video starts automatically at the preset time and it just automatically plays through once and then there's a live chat that's off to the side so I can uh talk with people and they can ask questions immediately as the video is going on. So that's the nice thing about it. And I hope I answered the question correctly. And there's uh, John in Alaska's YouTube channel link. And uh, let's see here. Clint Gilchrist. Cool. I never knew that about lives and premieres. Yeah, when um, it's very, very similar as a live with a live chat on the side. But only I can't talk to you guys during like way I'm talking now. I have to type in the live chat back and forth. So that's really the only difference. And you're welcome, Raised in Alaska. Definitely check out Raised in Alaska's page. He does a lot of really cool stuff on his channel. And I think right before you got here, I was someone asked about fishing. And I said I definitely want to go dip netting in the Copper River. So I hope I can go out with you the first time and check it out. I'm definitely uh, planning on getting all my uh, gear and everything and going out there and uh, camping out for a few nights with you and Making a nice big uh, salmon haul. And big family expedition. We usually try to add a comment to the comment section once the premiere is over. I'm not sure if that makes a difference, but we feel like it helps uh, engagement. Excuse me. Yes, obviously I'm not a engineer with YouTube but I think it does help also because it does uh, uh, show engagement with the video and f everything I've heard that's one of the aspects that YouTube looks for is engagement during the video and even after the video like engagement hitting the thumbs up leaving comments stuff like that shows engagement and then uh, how long you watch the video is another a uh, very big one that uh, help the longer people watch the video on average the more YouTube will push that video hey old man King homestead how are you tonight Peter and yeah Johnny Gillum at Gillum farm says hmm salmon definitely definitely and raised in Alaska I have it in my schedule okay great And we're at 51 minutes already for this live. It's going fast. Time flies when you're having fun, huh, folks? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what happened. 
uh, there was like 15 or 20 people in the live, and then just all of a sudden it dropped down to five almost immediately. I don't know if people got cut off or what happened. That's crazy. But Clint Gilchrist has a question. What is the best white meat fish up there? I like salmon, but prefer white meat fish. Probably halibut or burbot. Uh, from what I know, I'm not really big into uh, fish, like eating fish, but uh, halibut is a very white meat, and I know it's definitely uh, one of the best up here. And I believe burbot is a white fish also, and I've, I've never eaten burbot yet, but everyone that I've heard talking about it says it tastes like lobster so I would say probably those two or um, I believe grayling is another white fish which is really popular up here and Gillum Farm says I, I am still here Bill well thank you very much Johnny Matt 1791 garage mmm halibut Clint Gilchrist I love hab halibut and uh, John in Alaska has a boat, and we've talked. He's going to try to get it up and going here beginning of the summer. He has a little bit of work to do on it and then needs to get it registered. But we've talked about maybe going out on it this summer. So I would love to uh, hook into a couple halibut this summer. That would be awesome. And big family expedition. Halibut is delicious. Yes, it is. The best thing about halibut is you can't very easily cook a fillet, a fillet of halibut because it's a very very flaky fish and as it cooks it just crumbles apart so most people just make halibut tacos out of it halibut tacos is very good oh johnny gillum says uh did you see my wing shooting question bill no i did not let me look up through here uh, could you ask it again, uh, Johnny? Sorry about that. Uh, Clint Gilchrist, don't y'all also have flounder? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I believe we have a, a two or three in the uh, halibut family, and I believe flounder is one of them. But uh, I, I can't say that 100%, but I believe there is some up here also. But the primary one is halibut. So, yeah, Johnny, definitely ask that question again. Uh, I missed it somewhere. And there's uh, Old Man King Homestead's uh, YouTube channel link. Definitely check him out. Halibut tacos. Yummy. Definitely. Definitely. Very yummy. Oh, uh, Gillum Farms asks, uh, do you guys shoot uh, ptarmigan on the wing like we do pheasants down here or on the ground? It doesn't matter up here. If you see it, you can shoot it. Like a lot of the states, pheasants have to be in the air for you to shoot them. Up here, the ptarmigan, it doesn't matter. We can shoot them on the ground or in the air. And actually, most people shoot them on the ground because uh, a lot of people use 22s to hunt uh, ptarmigan. So it's a lot easier when they're just sitting still. You just uh, plank them off with a 22 instead of a trying to shoot it with a 22 while it's in flight. And Matt AK, mm, now I have to go have a black and halibut burrito at the bacon Denali when I'm up there. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Those are good. Those are definitely good. Big family expedition. That sounds delicious. Yes, it does. Yes. Hey, 
and John in Alaska says, uh, we have what you call arrow tooth flounder. So I guess that's a type of flounder. So, well, folks, it's uh, pushing one hour. We got a little over two minutes left, about two and a half minutes left. So I'm going to be wrapping this up. It was definitely nice talking to all of you. And uh, like I said, I go live almost every Thursday at the same time. It's rare when I don't go live, but it does happen once every couple months or so. And then I got a, a premiere tomorrow at 6 o'clock. So we'll be starting here in just a couple minutes tomorrow at this time. So definitely set your alarms Put a reminder in your phone for both the Thursday Night Lives and my premiere tomorrow. So I hope to see you guys there. And uh, uh, everyone, have a safe night. And thank you all for being here. John, John in Alaska says, they get pretty large and uh, found mostly in the Gulf of Alaska. Yeah, that's right. And Clint Gilchrist, nice talking to everyone. Until next time, stay safe. Good night, everyone, from Big Family Expedition. So have a good night, everyone.